Hi, I'm Kendra, the managing editor of CGW Magazine. I'm here at SIGGRAPH 2023. I'm here with Eric Brown from Puget Systems. He's going to walk us through what they have on display at the booth this year. So thank you for being here, Eric. Of course, it's a pleasure. Excellent. If you could tell us about the big announcement you just had today. Uh, yeah, well, we have a couple things going on here at the booth today. Um, yes, we did make an announcement this morning. We're actually going to be offering in the coming weeks, we're going to be offering our own uh, AI training and inference servers. Uh, these will be uh, quad uh, 6,000 ADA systems. Um, so they are going to be, they have plenty of VRAM to be able to handle a lot of enterprise workloads for AI, large language models and stuff like that. Um, so very excited to be offering that. Um, but then here at the booth, uh, the demo that we're actually showing off here is uh, a project by Corridor Digital, if you're familiar with them. Um, they uh, recently did a video to anime workflow where they put a, uh, they released an anime without actually doing any animation. Um, and it was it was a little controversial, um, yeah. but uh, they actually just a couple days ago uh, released a follow up to that, uh, where nice. they did actually contract out to a uh, like a two D artist and had them create their own original anime style, which then yeah. they're applying uh, and going through this whole workflow here, where they actually train the model um, and then shoot all the source footage and then apply that uh, that model to the source footage. Um, all of the, all of that, the training and the inference, um, as well as the work into Venture Resolve and Unreal Engine, that was all done on our workstations, actually. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Wait, so you have it on display here on this demo, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, this is the, uh, and they were uh, gracious enough to give us the entire project and everything. So wow. this is the actual, like what you see here is the actual project files and the source footage uh, for the, uh, for Anime Rock, Paper, Scissors one. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Wow. So what all do we have? Uh, yeah, so yeah, on the left side here, what you have is uh, kind of showing a before and after, I guess. Yeah. Um, this is uh, this is in DaVinci Resolve, um, and then on the right, what we're showing is Stable Diffusion, where it's showing off like this was the uh, the original frame, and then in Stable Diffusion, they did the uh, they did the training of the models, but then this also where they do the actual application of the models. Got it. So it's showing the before and after of each individual frame that they had to uh, that they had to train and apply the model to. Nice. Um, so it's showing kind of the before and after there of that of that process. Oh great! I see some of the, the keywords you have in here. Yes, yes. they went through a. I, I don't know all the details on it, but they went through a pretty what seemed like tedious process of like <laughs> honing in exactly what terms they wanted to use to be able to give it the style and the effect that they wanted. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it sounds like a really detailed, interesting process. Way above my pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, it's really nice to actually see it on display here. And it's such an exciting collaboration. I mean, Corridor Digital, they put out so many exciting projects. Amazing so. content. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So exactly. it's on, honestly, it's a, it's a pleasure. It's awesome to just be a part of it, to, yeah. to have some role in their, in their whole process. Yeah. Exactly. And how long have you been working with them? Uh, with uh, with Corridor Digital, yeah. uh, since 2016. Oh, um, great. Yeah, they were giving uh, a they were giving a talk at the Adobe booth uh, mm. about like 360 video workflows or something like that. Nice. Um, I just happened to stumble across it, and I was like, they seem like they need some higher powered workstations, and so I reached out to them a couple weeks later, and the rest is history. We've been working with them since yeah for eight years now or whatever. Oh, wow, that's so exciting. Yeah, excellent. And what's coming up next for Puget Systems? Puget Systems. Honestly, this is this is probably one of the bigger things. I mean, I mentioned earlier the uh, the AI training and inference uh, server that we're uh, that we're releasing this month. Um, but yeah, we're really diving deeper into how AI is being applied into all these different spaces because yeah. I mean, as you heard in the keynote earlier today, yeah. it really is being applied everywhere. Uh, so figuring out exactly how that's being applied is is really important to us because for us, our kind of guiding light is is like, how, how can we solve a problem for people? Um, and so and if we don't understand exactly how it's being used and what that workflow looks like, we can't answer those questions. And we can't have our lab team dig into how is, how is it being used and how is the hardware being leveraged and where does it make sense to go on-prem? Where does it make sense to have it up in the cloud? Finding all those lines and where what makes sense, um, mm -hmm. that's where we're gonna be spending probably the next six to 12 months um, wow. just doing all that testing to figure out what's the most cost-effective way of doing this stuff all the way from people who want to do it themselves for their YouTube channel or yeah. all the way up to enterprise business that are rolling out large language models that are specific to their company. That's good. That's, that's, that's so exciting to hear. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for of taking course. the time to talk to me about this and to show this to our readers. And yeah, thanks again. I appreciate you stopping by.